WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day, and we have a relatively mixed market so far, pretty close to... Uh, flat for the day, excuse me. Dow Jones, negative 17 points, trading at 25,485. You get the S&Ps currently negative two points, trading at 2798. And the NASDAQ, negative by 10 points, trading at 7632. Russell 2000, positive by a point, trading at 1507. And the VIX, we'll start it off. VIX currently, we had some volatility on Friday, saw a spike above 17 early this morning, 1785 on that volatility index. VIX currently trading at 1680. As we jump over to the futures markets, we will start it off with the S&P. So there's some oscillation for you this morning. 9.30, there's your opening bell, and we're sitting basically right where we opened at, pretty close to flat for the day. You saw some upward action right after the bell, quite an escalation to the downside. You go from 28.13 all the way down to 27.91. Quite a move. You're talking about more than 20 points in the S&Ps. And then what do you do from 10.15 in the morning? You go from 27.91 all the way to 28.15. You're talking about 24 S&P points to the upside. And then we're right back where we started the day, 28.02. NASDAQ 100, pretty close to the similar story. We'll zoom in a bit. There is your opening bell bar, and as you can see, we basically open at 73.33. We're trading at 73.35, a little bit of volatility in both directions during the day. Dow 30, much the same as well. There's your, we'll find it, there's your 930 bar, opens at 25,504. We're within six Dow points of where we opened, and talk about some volatility. We basically trade from 25,600 down to 25,400 right off the bat, but as you can see, both sides of the direction in the market. Crude oil, volatility as well, but what do we do? We're back above $59 with crude, trading at 5906. Gold contract trading above 1320, 132144, and Euro US dollar trading 11312. In terms of what else you have happening out there, big day for Apple as they are hosting an event and they are going to announce their new streaming service. It'll incorporate some original content along with a number of other providers. But Apple on that news. It was dramatically lower, gotten a bit of a pop, but still down about eight tenths percent on a day where the market is basically flat. Apple trading 189.41. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Dave White at two o'clock with a power trading hour. Tom O'Brien at three. Have a great Monday, everybody.